Hello and welcome to the Yuki Show. Today on the Yuki Show, we have a very pretentious guest with us today, Keiko Rain. I am not pretentious. I simply informed you, Kiru, that what we were doing is more so of a walkthrough or a let's play, if you will. That, and in today's video, we're not going to be doing any cuts, we won't be doing any editing. We're just going to be doing one take all the way through. Like any editing goes into it in the first place. Don't like it, don't take up. There is very little editing. It's simply not much more because the hero is lazy and it's her job. Now then, to the video. Now then, to the video, since this is my show. Licensed by Nintendo. Konami, right? Yeah, no. Play to Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory. Do not- Caution, do not play under strong sunlight for too long. Gotcha. Botkai, the sun is in your head! This is the hardest difficulty, so this is the one we'll be doing. Saving. In a place not too far from here and now, cool. the end of the world approaches. The undead appear, breaking the natural cycle of life and death. The evolution of species ceases, and one by one, they become extinct. Istrak, the city of the dead. I butchered that name so hard. I'm going to. We're... This is the city of the dead. Istrakan. Istrakan? Does... His name is Django, so I'm assuming this is Spanish. And I'm not Spanish, so. Since time immemorial, this dark city has been ruled by a race known as the Immortals. But now, at last, the sun is rising. Tenko. Oh, Tenko, you've come at last. The heir to the solar gun, Gun de Sol. The new vampire hunter, you are so bad at this. My name is Otenko, messenger of the sun. Together we will bring light back to this world. In the castle ahead is the vampire lord. Let's go, solar boy. Otenko, you're running away? You'll never live up to your father like that. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> um, I don't remember what they said I have to do for this. Oh, okay. I got it. Otenko, you're running away? You'll never live up to your father like that, Otenko. Please just fucking stop. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to curse. Oh, we can't edit that out. Okay. Potty mouth. No, sorry, gotta watch that. Fog Castle. Time to sunrise, 6 hours and 44 minutes. Tenko, here will do. Watch. This is the pile driver. Taiyo! The Vampire Lord, leader of the race of immortal vampires, the wounds your father gave him have not healed. This is our only chance. Even you can do it if you act now. Listen, Solar Boy. Bring him and his coffin back here. We will purify him with lights, with sunlight, and this pile driver. You need sunlight to start the pile driver. See the gauge with the sun mark in the lower right corner? It shows the level of sunlight striking the solar sensor. It's called a solar gauge. 
you can't use the pile driver when the sun level sunlight level is zero. Thank you for calling me bad. And then telling me how to do this. Even you can do it now. Otenko. Otenko. Wait. That's a ghoul. A bok. This type of undead serves the immortals. Boks are weak, but don't let them spot you. Try to avoid confrontation. Hide in shadows or run past when they're not looking. When a box spots you, he attacks with chlorophyllon, a dark substance. If you get chlorophyllon on you, it will start to deplete your life. Shake that stuff off as quickly as you can. You can also sterilize it with your gun, okay? Sterilize though. Lol. Lol! Solar board. Let's go over the solar gun. Gun to soul. One more time. Press the B button with the fighter frame equipped to fire a- Okay, I know how to shoot the gun. Solar shot. Use the shot to temporarily stun the undead. Attacks from behind are the most effective. But if the energy in your solar battery, see the gun gauge, and the lower right corner runs out, you won't be able to fire your solar gun. Recharge by letting sunlight strike the sensor. May the sun be with you. And also with you. You know, I'm curious. Can I? Is he that dumb? Oh yeah, he is. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay. Cool. Healed. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I'm not doing that again, that's kinda cheating. But I'll take it for the first run. Maybe, didn't know. Oh, Tinko. The panel on this wall is an Otenko panel. Press the A button when the mark is flashing to summon. Don't be afraid to ask for advice, my knowledge might come in handy. Okay, how do I get you to shut up? That's my first... <laughs> the first piece of advice I want. The Otenko! That is not an option in this game, you have to listen to me talk. Thanks, Otenko. 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 That's a solar station. It automatically stores solar energy collected by your solar sensor. You can transfer energy to your gun whenever you need to, even at night. The number above the solar station shows how much energy is left. Hold the A button when in front of the solar station to transfer energy. Use it wisely now. Wait, are the- do those doors leave the same? Wow, okay. Otenko. Otenko. Looks like you got the Knight, a solar gun frame. If you equip it, you can use the solar spread attack on the undead. Hold down the B button to fire the spread. Use the weapon screen to switch solar gun parts. Please select, press select to bring up the menu screen. And use the L or R button to select the item screen, weapon screen, or map screen. Try equipping Knight from the weapon screen. Uh... 
Okay. Oh, Tenko. By the way, if you use a solar gun inside a dungeon, the crystal spikes may grow up from the floor. Perhaps you've already seen them. These are solar bamboo shoots. They're made of hardened solar energy. Three kinds of spirit bugs live in solar bamboo shoots. Solar bugs, which charge your solar gun battery. Moon bugs, which restore your life. And darkness bugs, which drain energy from your solar gun battery. Best to run away from darkness bugs, but you can attract the other spirit bugs by pressing the A button. Don't forget these solar bamboo shoots, my friend. Okay, this is kind of all my... Ah... Sure to call me while sunlight is striking the sensor, okay? Oh, okay. Look carefully. See the rays of light hitting the ground over there? That's a skylight, where light is shining through a hole in the ceiling. Hold the A button under the skylight to recharge the solar gun battery. This is known as solar charge. Most of the undead are vulnerable to sunlight. If you can lure them under the sunlight, you can damage them. Use the skylights well. Okay, I will leave it at one if that's the case. Well, what you waiting for? Outside, and your solar gun gauge shows a level greater than zero, your battery will charge up naturally, or you can perform a solar charge for a quick refill. Pretty easy, right? Is this a switch? Can I? It looks like one. No, okay. Got a life for it, cool. Wrong button. This button. know what that means. Taya! Well, Tenko, this belongs to the Count. This vampire lord, the Count of Round Soaking Blood, was the sworn enemy of your father. But do not be afraid, my young vampire hunter. That crimson scarf holds the spirit of your father. You are not alone. You, you didn't say may the sun be with you. What? Vampires? Knew it. Oh, 
Tenko. Well, Tenko, a trap. But he still can't move, it seems. Your gun alone can return him to nothingness. You must... I, I think I messed up. Cannot return him to nothingness. You must take the coffin to where the pile driver is, outside the castle. Get close to the coffin and press A, the A button, to grab it. Hold down the A button and use the control panel to drag the coffin along. You cannot run or attack while you are dragging the coffin. Be careful. And I cannot gather energy in here. Okay. Can I? Just to be on the safe side? Cool. Uh. Lola, what? He can. I thought you said he can't do anything. Oh, Tanko? He cannot master Solar Boy Django. He can simply shake and place. It's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Tanko doesn't know anything useless. Look, he can hit me. Wow. Thank you, Master Otenko. For informing me that he can still hit me. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a feeling, so I was just like, okay, I'll just stand here. Oh, what? Stop. What? He can start moving away. Okay. Anything else you haven't told me, Master Otenko? I just play the game, Solar Void Chango. Um. Okay, let's do this. Well, uh, didn't see me, huh? Interesting. To make things fair, because I mean this is the first boss after all, and I do want it to be a challenge, I will not raise it above sunlight level 1. Yep. Yep. Oh, it kills him. Your little undead friends die instantly now, sorry. Not sorry. Can I? Damn it. You needed better minions, dude. Master Otenko, ready to talk more smack? Otenko! 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 Alright. 
Now set the coffin in the center of the pile driver. Otenko, good. Fire a spread to start up the generators that just appeared. Equip the knight and hold the B button to fire a solar spread. These generators have been blessed by Gaia. That looks like Gaia. The motherland and the sun spirit soul. With the power to amplify solar energy, I'm going to stick with Gaia. The pile driver is the only thing we can use to purify immortals. Tinko, we're ready. Press the A button over the shining emblem to start the pile driver. Is the sun out? Oh, here. Okay. Taiyo! Starting purification. Destroy the vampire with the solar panels from the generators. The stronger the sunlight striking the sensor, the stronger the solar panel piles will be. But the vampire will resist the solar piles. When he does, hit the generators with a spread to boost its power. You can overcome the vampire's resistance. When the vampire's darkness gauge, upper right, hits zero, we win. Stop the vampire lord. You can do it, solar boy. Ah. Uh. Okay, I get it. Got him. Wow. This is a little too simple. Is there a second phase? Getting sunlight faster. It's not good for him. Okay. B, what? <laughs> what did I got the fool card? Incineration of the dark matter. The energy source of the immortals is complete. This elimination this, this eliminates all possibility of revival. Good work, Solar Boy. Uh, come to think of it, I don't know your name. It's Django. Wow, how do you not know my name? Django, is it? That's a manly name. <laughs> <laughs> so here you are, Otenko, messenger of the sun, and this must be the new vampire hunter, but I'm afraid you're too late. While you've been playing, busy playing with the decoy, my wounds have healed splendidly. The Count! We've been tricked! I'll teach you a thing or two. When I attack the city of the sun, San, San Miguel, and struck my enemy down, I had another objective. Yes, the, so the Lunar Maiden, Moon Beauty, she is still alive. <laughs> Do you dare go after her, Otenko? Moon Beauty? Huh, she's your... In that case, there's still a chance. I sense darkness to the north. Let's go, Django. We have to save Moon Beauty. Do not fear, Solar Boy. We have the sun. The sun will rise tomorrow. May the sun be with you. May the sun be with you. And also with you.
But, Kai, the sun is in your head. And that covers... Django, I must talk to you about something. It's about the solar gun, Gun de Sol. The solar gun takes in sunlight as its energy. If you continue using it under strong sunlight for too long, it will overheat. Then you won't be able to fire the solar gun. At the bottom right of the screen, if the gun mark becomes an X, that's a sign of trouble. If you keep on using it under strong sunlight, it will overheat. Go into the shade and let the solar gun cool down. After a while, the gun will no longer be overheated. Even when the overheat status is ending, the gun is still very hot. If you use it under st strong sunlight, it will soon overheat again. If it repeats overheating, the safety mechanism disables the solar gun. The safety mechanism will not undo itself until the sun sets. Be careful. Once it overheats, continue your adventure in the shade, or take a break for a while. Do not be reckless. There is no one to replace you. I'm counting on you. Solar Boy Django. Uh, thanks. Oh wow, you walk with me now. Cool. Um, that concludes this Let's Play of Solar Boy Django. Until the next time, thank you everyone for joining us. And I think, no offense to you Keiko, I think next time I'm going to do this on my own for the next boss. Again, thank you everyone for watching. Love you all. This has been the Yuki Show, hosted by Yukira Nightshade and co-hosted by Keiko Rain. Anyway, have a great day. Bye! Let's go! Make no excuses now, I'm talking here and now, I'm talking here and now, let's go. Your time is running out, I'm talking here and now, I'm talking here and now. It's not about what you've done, it's about what you're doing. It's all about where you're going, no matter where you've been. Let's go! Nice. Thank you, but I think it's also time for the host of the show to sing. Um, okay. Let's go. Make no excuses now, I'm talking here and now, I'm talking here and now, let's go. Your time is running now, and I'm talking here and now, I'm talking here and now. It's not about what you've done, it's about what you're doing. It's all about where you're going, no matter where you've been. Let's go. Let's go!